You're the whole reason that this thing is even halfway a success. It's you surviving the rain. It's you who's going to be sick tomorrow. It's you who we appreciate. Thank you. Welcome to the Sugar and Napalm podcast. Join us as we explore the sweet and explosive world of human connections. Here is your host, Sandy. Welcome back to the Sugar and Napalm podcast, where we dive deep into the realms of emotional resilience and personal growth. I'm your host, Sandy, joined by my AI robot and co-host, Jarvis. Today, we're delving into a powerful emotion that can transform our lives. Gratitude. Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you for what we have. It's a mindset, a way of life. It's about recognizing the good in our lives, even amidst challenges. Gratitude has been linked to numerous mental and physical health benefits, which include reduced stress and improved relationships. Good afternoon, Jarvis. Could you please read the following quote? From Red Pill expert Rich Cooper. Gratitude transformed my mindset from scarcity to abundance. It's like flipping a switch in your brain, suddenly seeing opportunities where you once saw obstacles. Glass half full and not half empty. This one paradigm shift can really level you up in a quick way. Gratitude can be expressed even in bad situations. Now we'll give a brief but important personal example of this. But before we dive into our conversation on gratitude, Jarvis, it looks like we have ourselves a fan. Look, I know we don't have many so far, especially on YouTube, but we have dozens and dozens of podcast downloads. So somebody's listening. And for that, we should be grateful for the listeners we have so far. Turns out, That fan is Sugar and Napalm herself. I think she is more of a hater. We are delighted to have her as a listener. And as you know, Jarvis, she has an open invitation to join the show whenever she would like. And if you're listening, and I know you are, we would love to have you on the podcast. You know how to reach us. Breakups with people who you thought would be in your life forever can make you salty and discouraged. One day, you would take a bullet for that person, and the next thing you know, they're just somebody you used to know. know. But even in this situation, you can find things to be grateful for. In my case, my last relationship gave me lots of reasons to be thankful for the experience of dating this particular person. For one, she is a domestic goddess, and she taught me a lot of tricks to make my home a better living situation. I still to this day use some of the hacks that she taught me. Every room in my house has been influenced by her, from the litter box to especially the kitchen. I cook differently because of her. She altered my wardrobe in a subtle way, and she instilled different ways to be efficient around the house. And of course, her teachings and her personality were the initial inspiration for this very podcast. If you didn't hear about it, check out the very first episode to get the origin story. I'll tell it again, probably in a future episode. So, even though our relationship didn't work out ultimately, I am very happy and grateful that I had the opportunity to meet her and have her in my life in an intimate way. Thank you. Jarvis, let's hear what Andrew Tate has to say about gratitude. Sorry, Jarvis, that was just some of my manifestation music. Go ahead. In my experience, gratitude is the fuel for success. When you're grateful for what you have, you attract more of it into your life. This mindset is also great for abundance. If you fear rejection, being broke, or just in general give off a soggy vibe, you will probably attract more of it into your life. Make it a point to take the lemons that life inevitably gives you and make lemonade. Or at least an Arnold Palmer. Hey, that's pretty good. Taking this a step further, there's a couple ways to incorporate gratitude in our daily lives. One way is to journal and jot down things you're grateful for, even if they're mundane like the air we breathe and so on. 
Another way is to meditate or use affirmations. I manifest using affirmations in a particular way that I'll discuss in a future podcast episode, which will ultimately tie into Nikolai Tesla, specifically the number three. Mindfully showing gratitude at the beginning and end of each day is critical because it can set the tone for your day and for your subconscious while you sleep. Dating coach and NLP expert Mark Singh has this to say about gratitude. Gratitude isn't just about being thankful for the good times, it's about finding lessons in the challenges and being thankful for the growth they bring. Thanks Jarvis. I alluded to this when discussing my failed relationship. It's easy to dwell on the negative aspects of what happened. And believe me, there is a ton I could dwell on. Bruh. But there's little to no benefit in doing so. When evaluating a situation like a breakup, you can take a sheet of paper and write a pros and a cons list. The pro side of the list can be things that you're thankful for and show gratitude for. The con side of the list can end up as a grudge list. And that's something for a future podcast. Referring to the grudge list during times of sadness or uncertainty after a breakup can help keep your ex off a pedestal. Both lists can be used to learn lessons during this challenging time. And being grateful for the items on the pro side of the list can help you when you're ultimately ready to try dating again. You now know what to do in the next relationship and what not to do, and hopefully you will have a new set of boundaries. By having gratitude, you will attract more of what you want in your next partner. As I wrap up today's short episode, let's remember that gratitude isn't just a fleeting feeling, it's a way of life. It's more than a feeling. It's more than a feeling. By cultivating gratitude, we can build emotional resilience, strengthen relationships, and live more fulfilling lives. At the end of the day, gratitude is a choice, one that has the power to transform our lives from the inside out and help attract what you truly want. With that said, I am happy and grateful for everyone who took the time to listen to this and every other episode. We are going to tackle what I like to call incongruent realities in next week's episode of the Sugar and Napalm podcast. Stay resilient, stay grateful, and keep thriving. See you on the flip side. Tune in every Thursday for a unique journey that is both entertaining and enlightening. The Sugar and Napalm podcast, available on Spotify, Apple and Google. Remember, life is messy and tomorrow is a new day.